Uh, howdy, Inscalers. Uh, this is uh, RDA Inscale. My name's Alan, and uh, this is the uh, Lahana Hutch and Pratt Mini Subdivision. And we wanted to do a short, uh, uh, kind of after, after, I mean, after unboxing review of my 2256, I've been wanting to do this for a while now. And we're going to kind of show you some close-ups of 2256. It's an Atlas Gold Series with lock sound. Uh, the paint was done really good on this engine. And uh, uh, you can see uh, quite the detail on the fan blades. Try to get the camera to focus. Sometimes it doesn't focus as good as what I'd like it to. There it goes. You can see the detail in there on the fans. And then we'll pull it in front. And you can see where it says Burlington Northern and Santa Fe. There it is. And uh, I think there's a couple reviews out, uh, out there. I think Ron of uh, Ron Strings and Things. I think he's got one uh, review, if I remember right. It's been a little while since I've seen it. Uh, pretty good review. And, uh, but we thought we'd add one ourselves and uh, one pulling some, uh, pulling a short deal of rolling stock here. This is my Santa Fe 621-799. And then I've got my Athern 99 caboose. Uh, that's a BMLA uh, beer car, <clears throat> which I'm assuming seen quite a few years of service uh, taking uh, Coos beer out of the uh, Golden Colorado plant. And so we'll take 2256 down the main and pull her on the side here. After we do a check of uh, which way we're going. We're going to stick her in forward and move her forward. And these little Atlas Gold engines, this is a, this is a uh, 38, 38-2. Uh, and I like the old, I like that old uh, engine sound that these here have on it. Uh, compared to like the 39-2, I like it as well. But I like this old, <clears throat> that old grumbling, grumbling engine sound. Let me get this past the uh, switch there. I'm running a uh, NCE power cab, and at the moment I've got my pro cab on here. I'm not running it wireless, but I can if I need to. And got her in reverse. You can see the reverse lights and the number board lights come on. Sorry if I didn't have the uh, scene in focus here, or had the cars in the deal uh, you know, there. I was kind of making sure that I adjusted the track correctly. This is going through a Cotto number four turnout here. And the BMLA is doing pretty good going through there, and so is the Atlas. And my uh, other caboose, they're all rolling through there pretty, pretty smooth. I was kind of wondering how my engine would do going through that, uh, through that number four turnout, but she's doing pretty good. Okay. We'll drop that off. Let's 
see if you can see me doing this here. Sometimes these unhook good and sometimes they don't. Takes a little finessing. I'll do this off camera. Okay, that took a little longer than what I wanted to. Sometimes these couplers, they're good couplers in their own right, but they're not good at working together. Okay. Turn the bell off. We'll give it a horn beep. And we'll run her back out on the main. Like I say, this is kind of a uh, after boxing review. It's mainly just uh, I want to show how the engine how the engine runs. Like I say, I've seen a couple reviews. Uh, Ron had a pretty good uh, review on his channel, <clears throat> and I didn't really see too much on this engine other than what Ron had on there. Of Ron's trains and things, and I thought, well, we'll we'll <coughs> from another Ron, we'll. Uh, We'll do a little bit, a uh, little bit one more in length here, and we'll so we'll show some switching and we'll show some other stuff this engine can do. Okay, and this is on a small layout, but this layout is uh, pretty adaptable. Okay, you can see right there on this little girl, uh, you can see the backup lights and you can see the number board uh, uh, lights light up too. And I think that is just neater than ever. I think that is cool when uh, a manufacturer does that. I clean my layout not uh, every day. I mean, I clean the lint and stuff like that off of it, but I clean my layout probably once a month, or uh, I try to get it twice a month uh, with uh, ACT ACT six zero zero six track cleaner. Uh, occasionally, I get some black gunk off of it, but not too bad. And that's dealing with, like I said, uh, make sure this is lined up here. This is with, uh, we'll slow her down so when we hook up the cars here, this is with uh, living in an apartment that, uh, well, I think we have a few smokers that live here, and we have, uh, you know, it's just the environment that, you know, living in an apartment. Okay, I think we're hooked up. I believe we're hooked up. Yep, looks like we are. Okay, now we can... Oh. Move her forward now. And that's at speed step 13, 15, 16, 16, we'll idle her up a little bit. And on this short line we've got uh, caboose up there right behind the engine and then we put one uh, uh, behind the uh, Pacific Fruit F Pacific Fruit Express put uh, the A the Atchison Topeka Santa Fe 99 190 and we've got the uh, Rio Grande switch caboose okay we're gonna uh, sorry for the finger this is gonna end we're gonna go to one more <laughs> 